thing I've always thought about doing in The Sims 4 is a full world makeover. You know how you go through every world, completely delete everything and start again in your own style, um, you know, doing your own lots. Um, but that would just be such a massive undertaking because it's the game is massive now. Um, and, you know, between working full time, uh, I haven't really spoken about this, but I have a condition that makes me really tired. Um, so I can be tired a lot of the time. Um, so between those two things, you know, I do Sims where I can because it is like my chill out time. But yeah, I just don't have time to do a full, all the ability to do all of the worlds. Um, but then I remembered that Magnolia Promenade exists. Um, that tiny little world that came with Get to Work. Um, it's got like four lots. Um, and I never go there, I never use it, but I thought, what the, uh, what the perfect excuse to do that? So we're going to do a full world makeover, a Magnolia Promenade. Um, let me just move my camera down. Um, so we've got four lots here, we're going to wipe them out and start again, uh, and we'll turn it into a little series, and then it's, it's more of a little project that I can actually accomplish and fulfill. So we're going to actually start with the biggest lot, um, which used to be the roadstead. And let's go in here. Um, so I'm thinking with this one, um, in Sydney, Australia, there is a place called Alexandria Gardens. And it's this old, like industrial, there used to be industrial buildings, I think. I can't I'm not sure what exactly what it used to be, but they've um, really done it up really well. And it's it's turned, been turned into these gardens and there is flowers everywhere. I, I don't think I can put a picture in because I don't want to get copyright striped. Um, but yeah, you go through and there's like a cafe and like outside dining and there's big like an event hall. Um, so I thought we'd do a little miniature version of that in this spot. Yeah. Um, obviously it won't be completely functional because you can't have multiple types of lots within one lot. Um, but I don't know, I might make it a cafe and have the cafe be the main, main, um, place within the lot. Um, and then just have the other pieces around. So I, I would like to have, yeah, a cafe, um, an event hall. So like just a big, just a big space where you can have events like weddings or birthdays have you with lots of tables and things um, and then we might have another area for like stalls for like handmade goods um, and I don't know maybe like an outdoor bar area or something maybe a picnic area yeah, but we're gonna I don't know we'll jump in and see how we go need to kind of get a layout down yeah so I think we will start by Getting rid of everything. Goodbye. Uh, get rid of that last one. So I think if we use, I might just use um, some terrain paint just to mark out some areas of what I want. So maybe if we do brown. So I'm kind of loosely basing it on those um, grounds um, and I, I might even follow it quite closely. I haven't been there in a really long time. I went years ago and it was just beautiful. Um, so we're basing this off what little memory I have of it uh, and like pictures that I've Googled. Um, and it has, it's got like a main thoroughfare through going up and down. So what have we got around here? I'm just trying to figure out which way I want to start this. So I think, yeah, it's kind of nice to have maybe an entrance coming off there and here. So maybe uh, we could do like a car park out the back here. Doesn't have to be too big. And then if we did Let's go back to where's the dirt. Get smaller. So yeah, maybe if the main entrance was up here. Yeah, go straight through to here. 
It's gonna be a side entrance here. And that goes all the way through as well. Obviously this is just really quickly done to give us a bit of an idea. And then we would have another colour. So maybe like the stalls here. Um, I'd actually move the cunt part down the bottom. This side. So we're gonna have a building here. This would be the main event hall. And then cafe. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Something else here. Just to give us some, this is just a really rough guide. You know, so this center area needs to be a bit bigger because there's going to be a big uh, big fountain here. Right in the middle. Yeah, so let's get some basic shapes in. It's big. So we have a cafe over here, just some basic squares. So yeah, I think it used to be an industrial science. I guess there was old factories here. Um, yeah. I'm thinking, uh, you know, I'll probably be really original and just call, call this lot like the grounds of Magnolia or Magnolia grounds or something like that. Anyway, you already know that because it'll be the title of the video. But we're not there yet. Haven't even got that far. We just got a bit of paint on the floor and a few blank walls. Um, yes, yeah, so I really, I really want to keep some of the old industrial vibe, um, and then just absolutely jam pack it with flowers. And then I'm thinking we will edge it with maybe this baby. Blocked up completely, but there will be gates there actually. Let's knock it in. Let's do an idea of what everything is. And then let's pop down some foundations. I know where the deck will be. And I kind of want that to be at least three because if I want to have tables outside. Maybe we can just key. I think I'm gonna struggle to fit everything that I wanna fit. So try and save space where we can. And then on this side that we it's marking sort of where the balconies are gonna be. Sorry, where the entrance and some things are gonna be. So this will actually be under cover. But it's gonna be fairly open. I guess we do another big building here. Bit more. This one might need to work. Equally. Yeah, so then when you're looking, you can see. <clears throat> looking through, you can see a bit of height variance. This is kind of my build process. Like, it's getting really messy and ugly, and then. As we go, we'll get better. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, yes. Um, let's find just a placeholder fountain to go. I'm so confused where everything is in this section. I changed it all. Now I have to go through every single thing. Fountain decor. What Yeah. Why? This is. Well, this is what goes into the mountains. Where are the fountains? They're down here. It's gonna be something like this. I've been doing a little bit of work on my channel. On my YouTube channel. Just updating some graphics and things and giving it a little bit of love. It's still, you know, still in its very baby stages, but... Spend a bit of time going over and. Sorry, 
kind of talking to pass at the same time, apparently. Getting a little bit of time and showing it some love. And just updating the colours a bit. Like I had the bright pink and the bright yellow before and it was just a bit much, so kind of toned it down a little bit. So that one was down at green and then this one will be You could bust the process, we would. Maybe even two or three. That's what we... Yeah, so I've gone through and done a little bit of update on my YouTube and my socials, update my LinkedIn, um, and I haven't streamed on Twitch for quite a while, I just haven't had the chance. Um, like I said, between work and I think issues with being tired it does make it quite difficult to keep up with everything, you know, still need to do normal adult things as well. Um, not everything can be The Sims, unfortunately. So I'm liking the feel of that. I think what we might focus on first is Maybe getting the landscaping done on the outside and then we'll go through individually and do one building at a time so that we can break it up. Um, I don't know, potentially this might have to be multiple videos, um, but we'll see. Um, let me just do a jump cut here and I will tidy this up a bit and be back. I've tied it up just so we can get a bit more of an idea of what's happening. So, gone through and I've fixed up the pathways. I've adjusted these buildings a bit so that we've got more space. I think we'll have a little outside, our outdoor dining area here that will come off this section here. This is going to be um, mainly glass on this end. It's a bit, let a lot more light in. Uh, I've got this building at the back here, which will probably be a bar of some sorts, maybe. Um, the original had this massive big um, kiln um, chimney type thing, so I've tried to sort of squeeze that in as well. And, and then this will be the events hall, which will have heaps of space um, and potentially a few floors. Um, so there's heaps of room for events, and then yeah, we'll have a little outside area here. And then we've got our little car park at the back here, which I just pulled the car out of sizing. Got some more cars later. Now, as I was going through, I also found these. I'm just thinking they might look good coming through and connect to our fountain, you know, which has this gazebo, I think it's called, and just sunk it into the ground with the move objects cheap. Oh, sorry, with the tool mod. Because um, it has a bit of a... like a lip on it. I'm trying to point at the screen to show you. There's a lip <laughs> down this side. Um, and... Like, they need to be able to go all the way around. So, I just sunk it into the ground a bit. So, probably... Mm, I may need a smaller... Let's see how it goes. So we've still got room around the edge here, but I can look around. Um... So this here, I was thinking, will look good. Um, I'm gonna have to find something to use as pillars. I think that'll work, and then we can do a lot of tools off them. So it will be quite big. Just size it down a couple of times, and then if we raise it up with the ninety, but of course, crawl through and found some options. Look at all these things I forgot. I think this is way too big. These aren't really the right color, they're too small. Texture's not gonna look right. That's way too thick. It's just a doorway that I've sized up. Um, maybe that one, maybe that one. Maybe this one, literally just an archway. 
second ones, and then I put these arches on the end. I think that just makes it look really well supported. Um, and then I've gone through and added some vines and things, just so I've got a bit more hanging down. I think I'm going to add some more of these into there. Uh, and then I think we're going to have wisteria growing around this one. And then looking at the, f at the photos uh, online, they had some chandeliers. I think that would be beautiful if we do like too much time. Yeah, that would be good, really pretty lighting. The side. Um, well, so I've gone through all of some pillars, like this weird glitching flicker, which is really annoying. Um, I put a dome on this end, and another chandelier. Um, I'm happy with some stereo. I thought I got this nice little spot in here. This nice that fits in nicely. It's going to be very cramped, but then that's kind of the feel when you go to the actual place as well. So I had to add that. And I thought we could use this as a sign. Be in the fence. I'm not sure if I can get that cut with that fence, that might go. Um, I think I need to put some bricks on these walls so I can get a bit of an idea of what the it's going to feel. And there's going to be, like, I'm going to fill every single gap with flowers. There's going to be so many flowers. Let's do that now. I'm thinking maybe some trees around the edges here to try and blend in a bit. And then just flowers all through these walkthroughs. And I haven't really left myself a lot of room to fit trees in. Um, but I kind of, yeah, I like how this is feeling. It's kind of making it a bit more hidden. So you can go, go in and explore what's actually going on. But then there's kind of poles as well. Uh, I think we're gonna put some shrubbery, some bushes around the edge here, um, and then we'll be able to get some, yeah, I can't really fit any down here, but I'll be able to get some more greenery up the walls with some ivy, I think. Um, I've gone through and done some shrubbery. Um, yeah, put some ivy up these walls. I'm just going through now and doing a bit of terrain paint. Probably should have done terrain paint for pathways through there, but I really like these pavements. They're really nice. So I think we're keeping them. Um, I'm just going to have to put up with these weird blunt edges. It just ends. And then what we could do is maybe have a little bit of dirty around, like a walk in there. Yeah, maybe I'll put this across. Well, this is kind of how it looks when you go and look at the pictures. It's, it's, it's going to be a bit. Like it's a lot, but it's meant to be a lot. So over this side, we've got a little directory board. Something was coming in here. The whole thing about um, the Alexandria grounds is that there's all these like insta Instagrammable um, spots in there. So I want to have a few little spots like that where it'll be fun to take photos. It's actually a new day. I um, 
This is where we finished off yesterday afternoon. Just run through. So we've got this entrance complete. Um, this entrance is complete. And then over this side. I've got a little bar park and then I've got a little archway number here. So go through. We change the lighting. Just the other one. It's not going to have anyone standing at it anyway, actually. I don't think it's going to be too much. Somebody's called using it through there. Um, I like that handle or something. If we do that one, we can go back. Okay, that's fun. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, maybe like a bunch of these. The issue with a lot of these candles is that they're really big. This one's. Here's the color. So, come through candles, flowers, food stall, and then a drink stall, which is in the fortress. And this is a bit frantic. I think that needs to cut off because that's going to be black people in the face. So this is our events hall and I wanted it to be sort of big and grand and open and then we can have these hanging um, sort of chandelier plant planter things. Um, so what I did was I found this wooden plank in just in the bar dip bar. And then my other side. At the top and at the bottom. One is that like an octagonal? Middle. This side. And then I've got these chains from Snowy Skate. And I go to the edge. And then they're actually meant to go on the wall. So when you push it to a wall, it flips to the side. So if we do that, that'll turn it around. And then now I use the tool mode to flip this. So we rotate and change the axis. Let's just lay it down. Uh, and then I use the tool mod to raise it up. So just go through every piece. Thank you. 
Okay, so he's out of the box bug menu. Hello. Hey, Ivy. And then I just place it on some of the corners. So that's not too much. I've been learning so many tricks with the toolbox, so one of the things you can do is actually if you hold down control, shift. Of course. Shift shift alt maybe. Actually duplicates it. Um so you select you can select multiple pieces by holding down alt and then you shift alt and click somewhere and it will duplicate it. And then we can do a rotate. It's on eighty. It's better. And so this is working sometimes. Help me down up and clicking moves it. Sometimes it's not working, I don't understand it. And then I just added these canopies. So Kind of happy with like the odd placement of like it being over there, and then I think I want to add one more here. Yeah, let's do brickets then. Thinking probably the ranch doors. So I get daytime, so I can see what I'm doing again. Yeah, it is. So I'm thinking these big arch windows from the industrial pack, and then maybe the mosquito ones. Too many windows? Like, I want some space that we can have as blank walls. Yeah, I thought we were missing something here. I think I might do like a balcony here. And maybe even here too. Maybe. That way in here, we've actually opened all of this up. If we do these ones, and then the matching paints. Maybe we do these doors to the way we can open them. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of room, but it just kind of adds a bit of detail. There's some cream here. And of course, you know, just another excuse to. <laughs> Add more plants. Just added in some columns. 
And a little bit of more greenery up here. It's curtains. And now we're gonna go through and do some tables. Thinking right, table at this end and then just the other table scattered through. It's made out of uh, reeds. And that's size somehow. I left some just a normal size. Just to turn into a garland. And then these tables. Burn the flowers, you agree? I think that's all I'm going to do because you can't, we're not going to really use it as a wedding event space anyway. So there's not like a dance floor or anything. Um, this is coming like it. That's, that's coming like that. I think that's better. I shrunk them a little bit and I toned them down a bit so there's not quite as many. Raise them up a little bit. Um, the only other thing we should do in this room is turn some of the lights down now because it's a bit too bright. Okay, I've done this next part, mostly the camera, because I'm going to roll out of time. And, and this video is going to be really massively long. But this is basically the top floor um, of the events building. Uh, and it's more of a general, general events area, birthday parties, etc. Um, I think I need a little bit more time. Yeah, nice and moody. Um, lots of greenery and then yeah just some a bit darker up here but more darker tones I think it came out quite nice so I've got that and then in here we've got uh, a little um, bathroom two toilets just unisex and then I kind of had to get rid of a few more of the um, rope lights because they were, we couldn't get out here, it would have been necking itself. So, and I put some, some railing on the vent, on the um, stairs here, so you're not going to fall off there. Um, I did this little backdrop here just to fill in that area, a bit more ivy, and then I just used the same thing I do with the, what I did at the front of that one, just use the wreaths to make a heart. Good for a photo opportunity there with you uh, when they're cutting the cake. Um, yeah, and I thought I'd show you at night time because the lights upstairs look really good. Um, so we still have jump out of that mood. So I've done this section, this one, we still have I think this is gonna be a bar and then this is gonna be the main cafe area. Okay, so I'm actually gonna end part one here. Um, it's getting really long. The video is already like 30 minutes and there's another 30 minutes to go. Um, so I'm gonna split it into two parts um, and I'll pop this one out and then get the next one out the following week. I'm really happy with the progress so far. I think it's starting to come together. Um, so we've finished the little um, outside food hall -y part and the events hall. I've uh, got the wedding uh, events area downstairs done in the upstairs of that building and next week we'll come back and finish off the um, the bar and then the cafe. Uh, if you've stuck around this long thank you so much for watching uh, I really appreciate your support. I am still a very small new channel um, and yeah I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe or like my video it really helps in the YouTube algorithms um, and supports what I do. Um, all right, well, I'll see you next week for the next video. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.